Hey everybody, Ethan here from Refold. We've gotten a lot of questions over the past few weeks about how Refold operates and what my role is versus Matt's role in the company. I really value transparency and I want to take this opportunity to provide you with a little bit of visibility into how things work behind the scenes. Some of you may know me from the community, but not many people know my background or how I wound up as CEO of Refold working with Matt and founding this company together. So I've been learning languages for roughly about nine years of effort over probably 17 years of my life, which is a long time. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty old. So that's six years of Japanese in high school and college and about three years of Spanish cumulatively um, since about 2016. Now I've tried dozens of different apps and methods, but none of them got me to the level of fluency that I wanted. Um, I even moved to South America for five months in desperation, hoping that that would get me fluent, but I was still disappointed in my results of that experience. So in 2019, when I found the Matt vs. Japan YouTube channel and the Mass Immersion Approach website, uh, that was a revelation for me. Uh, I had never heard of input-based methods. I'd only ever used traditional study in school uh, and language hacking for Spanish. But input methods made way more sense to me. With that new knowledge, I actually felt like I was on the pathway to fluency. But I still had a lot of questions about how the method worked. Uh, the MIA guide wasn't finished, only stage one had been written at the time. And when I went to the community and asked them questions, um, they weren't super helpful. I didn't get a lot of my questions answered. So I actually decided to start my own separate community. So in January of 2020, I launched the MIA Spanish Discord server because I wanted more of a warm, welcoming environment for learners, uh, a place where I could share my experience and learn from the experience of others, uh, where we could collect resources together and just generally support each other through our learning process. So that small community of about 20 people uh, was actually really the first refold server. Uh, that's where we created the first community document uh, and the first community deck. And that server actually ended up becoming the Refold Spanish server once we launched the Refold brand. So about six months after I launched that community, Matt and I connected. Um, and I knew that with his knowledge of language acquisition and my project management experience, and also this community that I had built, um, that we could actually scale immersion learning up and make it more accessible to a mainstream audience. So over the past year, we've worked to create all of the things that I wish that I had had when I started learning a language, because I don't want other people to have to struggle the way that I did. So we've created the roadmap because learners need a clear path to fluency. Uh, we've created a community, a very strong community of now 25,000 members uh, to ensure that learners can always find help uh, and get advice from fellow learners. Um, and we've also gathered and organized thousands of resources so that learners know uh, which resources to use at which points in their learning process. Now, I'm really thankful to Matt. He's been instrumental in building the foundation of Refold. Uh, without him, we wouldn't have the roadmap. We definitely wouldn't have been able to grow as quickly as we have. Um, I will honestly be forever grateful to him for partnering with me on this project to bring it to life. But at this point, Refold is not Matt. Refold is much bigger than just one person. We have nearly 100 people working on Refold projects, and we're working on partnerships with about half a dozen other companies so that we can all work together to bring more immersion learning tools to market. Matt worked intensively on Refold for the first six months or so when we were writing the roadmap and when we were launching the community. But at this point, Matt's role is to act as a advisor to the company uh, and as a domain expert in language acquisition and specifically with Japanese, um, and also to create content for us. Uh, we essentially bring him in for specific content or specific projects and we pay him the same that we would any other contractor. Now on my end, Refold is my full-time job. Uh, my role is to run the company. I coordinate the efforts of the contractors and the volunteers, um, and I make decisions about what we're going to build and what the strategic direction of the company is going to be. One area in particular that I've prioritized is the community. Um, I've worked very hard to make sure that the community is a supportive place for learners. Uh, and I have to give a huge shout out to all of the moderators. Uh, thank you so much for helping to make the community so amazing. If you've been in any of our servers, then you know that there are wins channels where learners can share their progress updates and their successes with their language learning process. 
Every day, dozens of community members post their wins and their successes from those channels, and I read every single message because each one is proof that the work that we're doing with Rebuild is actually helping people to accomplish their goals. Each one of those messages is a little beacon of hope to a struggling learner out there. And Refold is about hope. Uh, for everyone like me who has really struggled to learn languages, Refold is a promise that it is possible that you can learn a language and that you can become fluent. I'll be here every day working to keep that promise. And I hope that you'll join me in helping learners everywhere accomplish their goals of fluency. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that I answered some of your questions. Good luck with your immersion, and I hope to see you around the community.